Buffalo region, then there is Buffalo. We are living in the Buloka. And above Buloka, then Swar Swaloka, the heavenly regions. The demigods reside in Swaloka. And so in the higher regions, they enjoy a long life, have very beautiful bodies. And they're very educated, have a lot of knowledge. They're generally situated in the mode of goodness. But they're not pure devotees. They have a tendency to want to enjoy the material life. The, the earthly region where we're living, this is more the mode of passion. And we have lower regions, the Patala Lokas, that's considered more influenced by the mode of ignorance. In the lower regions of the universe, it's dark there, and everything is lit by jewels into a position in this universe and given the appropriate body according to their qualification. <coughs> and ab above, above these three regions, there are four other planets which are uh, at the very top of the universe. Yeah, Mahaloka, Janaloka, Tapaloka, and Satyaloka. These four planetary systems are inhabited by great sages and living entities who are very, very pious. Tapa Loka, for example, is where the four Kumaras reside. And all the, the living entities there, they're totally celibate. So brahmacharis, those who are very strict and renounce life, they can enter to this planet, this planet Tapaloka, way up at the top of the universe. And in this way, Living entities will live up in these planets. They'll, they'll live a very long life. They'll, they'll live there almost, they'll wait for the end of Lord Brahma's life before they give up the body. And at the end of Lord Brahma's life, then, if they are pure, then they will go back to Godhead. But not ever, not always. It's not always so that Lord Brahma even will go back to Godhead. If, the, if Lord Brahma or if the four Kumaras if they still have that desire to be, to stay in the material world, then they won't go back to God. With the end of Lord Brahma's life, then they will enter into the body of Mahavishnu and they will remain there until the next creation takes place. 
在弗拉曼受众正群的时候，这些呃这些生物，他们就进入马哈维什姆的躯体里，直到下一次创造。The creation takes place uh, when Mahavishnu exhales. Everything comes out from his body. And when there's devastation, the end of the creation, then everything enters into the body of Mahavishnu. So all of this uh, creation and then destruction, this is just one breath of Mahavishnu. And when the, the life of Lord Brahma is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Said Sahasra Yuga Paryantam Ahariyam Brahmano Vidu. That 1000 ages taken together is the duration of one day of Lord Brahma. Right? 1000 ages. One age is the four. Ages put together, Satya, Treta, Dwapara, and Kali together. That that is one age, and in one day of Brahma, you have one thousand of these ages. And this Kali Yuga is 432,000 years. So the Dwapara Yuga is twice the Kali Yuga. And Trita Yuga is three times the Kali Yuga. Mm, Satya Yuga is four times that. So in this way, one age is 4,320,000 years. And you have 1,000 ages in one day of Brahma. And Lord, one day of Brahma, uh, uh, there are 30 days in one month of Brahma, and there are 12 months in one year of Brahma. And Brahma lives for 100 years. So we can understand something of the duration of time. That, that there's so many years in the life of Lord Brahma. What is 100 years for Lord Brahma is many millions of years of time in this planet. And this 100 years of Brahma is one breath of Mahavishnu. It's a very insignificant period of time. So Lord Brahma is being appreciated here that he, he is the greatest person in the universe. But we, we also know that Lord Brahma gets criticized. We know that the, the, the gopis, were, they didn't appreciate Lord Brahma at all. Because they were all, the gopis always, they like to always see Krishna. 
But they say, but Brahma, he, he's a hopeless creator. He gave us eyes which blink. We were not able to see Krishna all the time. So he, he, was a, he was a failure in creating. What is the use of our eyes if we cannot see Krishna all the time? So this is the unfortunate position of Lord Brahma. That although he did so much austerities to get the power to do the work of creation, not everybody was happy with him. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that every endeavor is covered by some kind of fault. Just like fire. Fire is a good thing, but with fire there will be some smoke. We like, we want in the winter especially fire is important for the heat, but in, before you get the heat, first there will be some smoke. So in the same way, when we try to do things, it's, it's difficult, we can't expect to be perfect, to do everything perfectly. And remember, Lord Brahma is a living entity. He is not God himself. He is the tiny servant of the Lord. We have, we, we have qualities like, like the Lord, but we don't have all of his qualities. Just like Lord Krishna likes to enjoy, we also like to enjoy. But we're not able to enjoy on the level of Lord Krishna. We try to enjoy according to our ability. But our ability is limited. We are limited in additions to Krishna. So we'll invite His Holiness Kavichandra Swami to continue speaking. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Devotees were asking if I'm praying and Krishna, does, I don't get what I want right away. Is that an offensive? I mean, I'm offensive. Or what? Huh? <coughs> yeah. If you want, I don't know if you can understand my bad English. You have to use the microphone. You have to get close to it. Hare Krishna. So they're asking, you know, if I praying but I didn't get what I asked for, does that mean I'm offensive or something? Uh,
Because we waited a few weeks or a few days, and we think it's such a long time. Why isn't Krishna? Or a few years. But you see, for, for Mahavishnu, the entire life of Lord Brahma is one breath. But Brahma Samhita, we have Vishnu Mahan, Siyasya Kalavi, Shesho. That Mahavishnu is a portion of a portion of a portion of Krishna. And for Krishna, it's not even one blink. But still, he knows. So, if you look at, you know, there's so many promises, instant money, instant wealth, instant love, but there's no such thing. Everybody that got anything they work for, they wait a long time, and they don't know how many other lifetimes. So like there's one famous runner, he was the fastest runner. He said, I trained for five years, four years, to run for nine seconds. Then he was the champion. But every day for so many years of working so many hours to make one few seconds. So <laughs> Rupa Goswami says, Utsahan is Dari. You have to be Utsa. That means enthusiastic. Krishna, I want this, give me, give me, I will do everything. I chant it so much. Then we have to hang in there because there's always difficulties. But then the most important thing is patience. Don't expect instant results. Uh, Krishna will give us what we want, what we need, not what we want. Uh, because we have to learn what do I want and what do I not want, what do I really need. So, you know, the charyas have given us so, so much knowledge. And we just have to take it. So, so much mercy. One devotee asked Prabhupada, why am I getting more mercy than you? Why are you giving me more? And Prabhupada said, I'm giving the same for everybody, but you take it. As much as we really give our life completely over to Krishna, then you know, everything works. So we have so many desires and changing all the time, so Krishna is confused from What do you really want? But sadhana means practice. Sadhana means practice. So we practice, and at the end of life, when we get... <laughs> this time we have to keep practicing. 
呃，只有通过练习，我们在生命结束的时候才能到达我们的呃这个目的地。我们需要练习。And any anyone, even in any kind of a field, they always consider themselves students. Uh, in any kind of field, they always consider themselves students. Uh, in any kind of field, they always consider themselves students. Uh, in any kind of So we get all this information about the lifetime of Lord Brahma and then what to speak of all the planets and all the systems and you know we just got a little summary of the three systems and then above that is the, the higher planets but within that there's also unlimited different varieties of species of life and so many things. 呃，所以我们刚才聆听了关于 Brahman 的生命以及各种不同的星宿啊，各种不同的天堂星宿，呃，其中有很多不同种类的生命。I heard it about that. So the false ego keeps trying to tell us, no, I'm big, I'm important. 呃，我们的假我一直会告诉我们说，啊，我很重要，我很伟大。I heard the devotee saying that the false ego is like a beard; it just keeps growing. 呃，奉献者说这个假我就像胡子一样，它会持续的生长。呃，我们要持续的去刮这个胡子，就持续的消除我们的假我。He said the false ego is like that, and the lectures of the guru is like the razor, cutting it off. But as soon as you turn your back, it grows. 假我就像这个胡子一样，然后灵性导师的讲课就像这个剃须刀，会把我们的胡子给刮掉。呃，我们如果一时不刮这个胡子，它就会长出来。So we there's some words that come up again and again throughout the Gita and the Bhagavatam. 啊，有一些诗节在《博萨瓦唐》和《博萨梵歌》当中是呃反复的出现。In regard to surrendering. 啊，关于臣服。Near mama, near a hankara. That means mama means mine. Mama 的意思是我的。Um, mine, mine, mine. And ahankara means a false ego. Ahankara 的意思是假我。So near ahankara means nothing is mine. Uh, near ahankara, ahankara 的意思是没有任何东西属于我。Near ahankara means no, I, no false ego. I'm the servant of Krishna. Near ahankara 的意思是没有假我。Not this body. But we, you know, identify with the body. Nowadays, I, do, I hope not in China, but in America, people are so confused. They don't know if, if they're a man or a woman, or they don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> 但是我们总是认同于这个身体，不知道在中国，但是在美国现在有很多人，呃，甚至不不知道自己是男性啊还是女性啊，就是性别上也很混乱。Or a dog, something so I identify as a dog. 呃，或者认为自己是一只狗这样。In the school, and it, the teacher has to say, "Okay, you're a dog." 呃，在学校老师需要说你是一只狗。But the school doesn't allow dogs in the school. <laughs> Anyway, it's totally crazy. It's calling you, but we we have to tell people what they really are. We have to learn what we really are. Ah, we need to learn who we are. We are servants of Krishna. We are servants of Krishna. We are in this particular body, and it's, but that's very temporary. Ah, although we are in this body, but it's only temporary. For us, it seems like a long time. Uh, There's other insects that are born in the night and they die before morning. Uh, they have their whole life. But, you know, so for our hundred years to them, it seems like really long, if they could think. So nothing's going to last, you know, forever. Except our relationship with Krishna. 除了我们和奎师尔之间的关系。But to get the relationship with Krishna, we need a relationship with devotees and relationship with Guru and relationship with. 呃，去认识到我们和奎师尔的关系，我们需要建立和奉献者的关系和灵性导师的关系。Guru Shastra and Sadhu, they all work together, and we need all of them to understand, you know, the others. 
我们需要灵性导师，我们需要经典以及和圣者联谊，这三者我们都需要。Your mama, in Maya, it says in the Bhagavatam in the second canto somewhere that those people in illusion they always talk nonsense. In illusion, they always talk nonsense. 在波加瓦谈第二天当中，呃，有有一个师姐讲到，在幻觉当中的人，他们总是会说一些不着边际的话。In the beginning of that nonsense, is it is I and it is mine. Ah, so this is the beginning of the nonsense. Ah, so this is the beginning of the nonsense. Ah, so this is the beginning of the nonsense. Ah, so this is the So he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so he made one song, "I Me Mine." Ah, so Then one devotee came, and they were asking him, you know, what is Hare Krishna all about? And he was explaining, and somehow they, he explained that song, what it means. And then they said, yeah, that's very good. So we're all thinking it's me, it's mine, I, 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 iPhone, iPad, I, everything. 然后对方说，哦，很好，因为我们总是认为啊，这是我的手机啊，这是我的，呃，总是关于我。That that was a brilliant marketing. They called it iPhone and I everything. 啊，比如说这个 iPhone， 它的市场的。I am this phone. 策略就很好。We're not even thinking I'm the body anymore. 啊，他就说 iPhone 是我的手机，啊，我的身体。Or a hankara. I am this car. 啊，或者 a hankara 就是我是这个车。You know, I think like that, and other people think, "Oh, he's a this car, he's that car." You know, it's really important for people. What kind of dress we have? Um, but we have things. Krishna gives us, but it really belongs to him. So we use it for him, and then it's no problem. Fool said, "I got by my hard work. I got this, and by my good brain, and my cheating, or whatever I did, and it's mine, and I don't need God. And then they go to hell. We might enjoy for a little while." 有人会想，我是通过自己的努力获得了我现在所拥有的东西，他们可能在短时间内啊可以去享乐。So it's Kali Yuga and everything is going completely crazy. Huge conflicts are going on, small conflicts, but for every conflict seems big to whoever is involved in it. 呃，在卡利年代，一切都非常的疯狂，总是有各种各样的冲突发生。啊，即使有一些很小的冲突，对于一些人来说，可能是一个很大的、很大的事情。So what is the cure? We have to take the medicine. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Spread the holy name. That's what Lord Chaitanya told me. Ah, so we need to sing Hare Krishna, then spread the holy name. This is what Lord Chaitanya told us. Wherever you go and whoever you meet, tell them Hare Krishna. Wherever you go and whoever you meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go and whoever we meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go and whoever we meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go and whoever we meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go and whoever we meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go and whoever we meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go and whoever we meet, tell them about Krishna. Ah, wherever we go Do anything else? Ah, we don't need to do any other things. When you meet devotees, talk about Krishna. When we meet a devotee, talk about your guru. Talk about the Bhagavad Gita, whatever. It's all Krishna. Ah, when we meet a devotee, we talk about Krishna. Ah, we talk about our spiritual master. Ah, the Bible. So thank you. I'll stop here. Ah, thank you for translating. Translators should get. They don't get enough credit. You know, it's very difficult. And they don't really get to hear the lecture or anything because they have to turn something. Uh, sometimes they don't have the ability to listen to the lecture because they are always writing on the paper. But they get so much benefit because they're letting everyone else hear. Ah, 
And then he just disappeared. They didn't see him for a long time. And then they, somebody met him and they said, what happened? He said, well, I was chanting and I didn't want to eat meat and I didn't want to smoke cigarettes. And Chinese have to do that. I'm Chinese in the words, and I have to do it. He was thinking of that, because most do. He didn't want to be weird. He's identifying with the body. Or the mind. So people come for many reasons, and they practice for a while. And, so if they were expecting to get a lot of material things and they didn't get it, sometimes they when it doesn't work. You know. mm -hmm. Now okay. yeah, there was a there was a uh, one devotee also we had in Hong Kong. So Tamal Krishna Maharaj was preaching to him and telling him, now you're getting older, you know, now you should renounce. You're a pure spirit soul and you should renounce yourself to the service of Lord Krishna. But he said to Tamal Krishna Maharaj, I'm a pure spirit soul in a Chinese body. <laughs> so he said I should get married. <laughs> <笑>在今天这个课中<笑> 
In the in today's lecture, it says that still higher planets such as Mahara Loka, Tapo Loka, Satya Loka, and Brahma Loka do not dissolve in the de devastating water. This is because of the closeness to service rendered unto the Lord. We heard from Sri Hathabha Tanya that the four Kumars are the inhabited uh, living on the Tapo Loka. Uh, they are uh, engaged in meditating on the so they are that means they are not in, engaged in pure devotional service, right? Well, just because they're meditating, they can't. It doesn't mean they're not engaged in pure devotional service. One can also engage in meditation on the Lord. That's also pure devotional service. In, in, the, in the Satya Yoga, everyone engages in meditation. In different ages of different processes on this planet, but on in higher planets, in places like Tapaloka, you know, the, they are, they are they, they, because they live a very, very long life there, so they, they engage in, the, like you said, the four Kumaras, they're engaged in meditation, which is remembering the Lord. <laughs> Everything depends on the, the attitude in which someone performs the activity. It's not that everybody who's engaged in meditation is engaged in pure devotional service. Mm. You know, uh, Haranya Kashipu went and did austerity and he was meditating to get power, to, 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 he wanted power, he wanted to get the benedictions of Lord Brahma, that he could have such a long life. So some people are meditating, they're meditating on the body. They want to become one, or they want to become nothing, like the Buddhists will meditate on nothing. Their goal is to, to enter into the nothingness, the body. And other people are meditating on the oneness. They want to merge. Sayuji Mukti want to, want to enter into the Brahman. So everyone different kinds of meditation are performed with different goals, different purposes in mind. But the devotee also engages in meditation. So it can be pure devotion of service. And they, di they discuss about it. When Gokumar goes there to Tapaloka, then they discuss about that. But is it, you know, should, should because the four Kumaras, they were saying, well, look, we're always remembering the Lord, you know, in our meditation. Mm. 
But Gok Kumar was saying, well, I, I don't just want to only think of the Lord, I want to actually be with the Lord and I want to engage in His service. Mm. So that is superior, that is a higher service than just simply remembering the Lord. Mm. Okay. We want to not just know Krishna, we want to know, not just know about Krishna, we want to know Krishna. Yes. That's what happens when you do service. So like when Gopu Kumara was in Vaikuntha, you know, he ran up to embrace but all the Vishnu do, Vishnu people, oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> but with Krishna, he likes, you know, to wrestle with his friends and he's more happy than. So like when the bridge by station started thinking, you know, Krishna's done all these amazing things and Nanda Maharaj, I think, you know, your son is not an ordinary child. Mm. He must be a demigod or maybe a great yogi or maybe a supreme lord. He said, no, 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 he's my son. He's, he's a stupid kid, he's a naughty boy. <laughs> and Krishna reciprocates perfectly with everyone. Pure, you know, there's many different kinds of purity. It just means no motivation for, um, you know, sense gratification. Pure devotee means no no material motivations. Mm. The civil soul is also situated in, in the body. So the question is, uh, how does the uh, super soul enter into the um, body of the human beings? Is the super soul created by Lord Brahma? <laughs> when the souls are in the spiritual one, there's no super soul. But because Krishna is right there, or Vishnu or whoever it is. Brahma only creates the bodies. And then Vishnu glances over the universe and the living entities are put into it, the soul. So from Mahavishnu comes Garvadakashai Vishnu and then Chiragakashai Vishnu, super soul. And he accompanies every soul. Mm -hmm. Brahma creates the 
bodies and the structure and the, all the elements and all those things. But he's in, he didn't really create everything. He's just putting it together. <coughs> like somebody built that car. But they had to get the metal and the wood or whatever it's made out of and put it together. They didn't create everything, they just put it together. And the super soul is Krishna. Bhagavad Gita, what does Krishna say exactly? If one considers, knows that I and the super soul are the same, then. And there's many things about the super soul in the Bhagavad Gita if you search. Yes, super soul, the Upadrasta, Anumanta, the overseer and the permitter of activities. And we're told also how the super soul pervades and supports everything. In the tenth chapter, Krishna is describing Vibhuti Yoga. He's listing all of his different opulences in the world, all the different phenomena by which he's present in this world. He's the syllable Om in the Vedic mantras. The sound in ether, ability in man, of man, he said, I am the monarch, king, there's a king, so the king is the representative of God on earth. Described in Bhagavad Gita. And then, after listing maybe about 80 more, 80 different opulences, then Lord Krishna said, But there's no need for all of this detailed knowledge, O Arjuna. With a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support the entire creation. So that single fragment of Lord Krishna, that is the super soul. So, super soul is coming as Shiro Dakashaya Vishnu. It's residing in Sweta Dweep. But at the same time, it's in the heart of every living entity. And it's in the atom. Prabhupada said one time, just think how busy Krishna must be. Because as a super soul, he's giving knowledge and remembrance and forgetfulness. So everyone is inspired and directed by the super soul. So that super soul is the best friend of all living entities. 
because he's helping us to get out of this material world. So, Super Soul is also described as Chaitya Guru. Chaitya. Chaitya Guru. So, he's also the, super, the, the spiritual teacher, the Guru. We have to hear from the Super Soul. The super Soul is often speaking to us, but we're not hearing. We don't like to hear. Pretend I didn't hear. <laughs> so that's why Krishna comes also externally as the spiritual teacher. To guide us, to remind us. Okay, yes, question? Well, he's only a failure in the eyes of the gopi. But his service is being appreciated here. That he did great service on behalf of the Lord. Creating the 14 different divisions in the universe. And the Lord was very pleased with him. So, <laughs> you, 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 it's, I, I said it's difficult to please everyone. So don't try to please everyone, try to please Krishna. I'm Krishna's representative. If you can please Krishna's representative. But if you try to please everyone, you'll never be successful. Just like some people say, Oh, I am servant of everyone. <laughs> How is it possible? It's not possible. You cannot serve everyone. But if you serve Krishna, then you can. But to try to serve everyone, just like they say, oh, we should serve 
humanity. How many humans you can serve? Even? So to say I am servant of everyone, that is nonsense philosophy. <laughs> Just be the servant of Krishna. Okay. Some people say everybody says something. Uh, right? Then you say, well, name one of those, everybody. Oh, no, no, everybody says it. Uh, <laughs> the Chinese have this, in Japan it's the standard thing. Uh, they say, wari wari nihonjin. Uh, All Japanese. Right? In my direction? So, <laughs> that way, they never say, I don't like this. All Japanese do this. All Japanese do this. But one time, somebody was saying at the temple, you know, we should have brown rice. That's right. So many Japanese that the diet in Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, so the four or five devotees said, yeah, that's a good idea. They were all Japanese. And then another Maharaji said, I think Japanese don't like brown rice. Another Maharaji said, no, Japanese don't like brown rice. <laughs> So it's very, it's never everybody. There's a famous saying in English. Everybody said anybody could do it. Something like that. Anybody said somebody, but nobody did it. Everybody, somebody, anybody, nobody. So it's never everybody. Uh, so, but Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, you should serve everyone. Uh, that's how you water the root of the tree, you serve all the leaves in the tree. Uh, you feed the stomach, you feed all the rest of the body. If you put your hand in the sweet rice, and the hot, and the you won't get any, just some exercise, but you won't get this. Put it in the mouth and get it into the stomach. Uh, you the you get it into the stomach. Okay? Okay. So then I can tell you what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Okay, all right. Everybody hungry? Yes. <laughs> everybody means everyone has to raise their hand. Who wants to take prasadam right now? Raise your hand. Okay, that's almost, almost everybody. Hare Krishna. Shari Ravi Jijo. Kendriyateka. Jibai Balai Vishay Sagare Jibai Balai Vishay Sagare Yamajaj Vayati Taramadi Jibai Vayati